Yeah, I heard vegans, you don't get the right nutrients. Motherfucker, look what I'm eating. Fats, vitamin C, chlorophyll, protein in broccoli, lettuce, tortillas, rice, protein. What are you missing, motherfucker, except for a rotting ass? Get off the shit. We're gonna throw down on some food. This is the first segment of The Hard Truth, because that's what this is. We kicking some knowledge, some food, all kinds of stuff. This family has owned health food stores uh, since the early 80s, and I've been shopping here. It's a mom and pop store, uh, and that's who I like to support, as opposed to the big corporate whole paycheck and the rest of them. Although, you know, I ain't gonna say I don't go in there when I'm on tour, but when I'm home, this is, uh, this is where I shop. I'm training for Ironman Kona. I rode 75 miles this morning, got off the bike, and ran 12. Now I'm gonna show you how I refuel from all of that hard ass training. And it was hot today. We're gonna do a uh, plant-based vegan version of taquitos, a Mexican tortilla uh, with some plant-based meat. We're gonna do rice with cashews and peas. And, uh, and we're gonna do steamed broccoli with a really dope uh, creamy almond dressing. Now normally I would make my own salsa, but like I said, I did seven hours of training. I'm shot. So there's nothing wrong with buying some black bean and corn salsa to go on out to Kitas. The, the uh, Beyond Meat, it's GMO free, gluten free, Southwest chicken, cause we going for the Tex-Mex and see everything non-GMO. I don't fuck with the GMOs. Why does that matter? Though? Why does it matter? Yeah. Because they use a lot of pesticides on genetically modified crops. So you're, you're worried about the Monsanto, like the pesticide one? Well, I, I don't, I don't want to support uh, chemical companies making my food. So uh, these products are bred and genetically engineered to take Monsanto's pesticides. So they're not out to feed the world, they're out to take control of the food supply. Bayer and all these, uh, all these companies, why would you eat food that, these are the people that created the gas that went into the Nazi death chambers and you're eating food that they're controlling that food there's supply? A, there's, a, there's so much horrific backstory to so much. To all of that, even, 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 even Monsanto was pharmacia. So now, you, now what you have is these foods are being bred to get people sick and cause all kinds of diseases. If you watch What the Health, you know, all of this diet and all this stuff is linked in with the pharmaceutical companies. They got their hand in everything. And they, they're, they're putting, this food is getting out there that's getting people sick and diabetes and all this stuff. And then the pharmaceutical companies come in and sell you the meds, same thing. What I got here could feed six people an organic meal, or you can go eat your $5.99 Happy Meal at McDonald's and get cancer and all kinds of diseases and spend thousands and thousands of dollars on medical bills. My food heals me. There you go, 55, and look what I did today. Boom. See you later. Like, if you looked at that dude, motherfucker look unhealthy as fuck. You gonna tell me? Where? Hey. This is Blacks. This is our foster dog. We take care of him. He's a good boy. You know I got Bob, the big influence mine. So let me give you a little backstory of how I got into all this shit. 1980, I was in the Navy. And uh, my ship pulled into Jamaica. And I got off the ship looking for weed because I was smuggling weed and uh, I met this 20 something year old Rasta dude and he was eating Kalalu and what's called Ital, Aki, Kalalu, beans, seaweed 
and I was eating hamburgers at the time. And I said, yo, what is that shit you're eating, man? And he's like, this is Ital. Ital is vital. If you eat this, you can live to 120 years to rust. So, uh, you know, the seed was planted. We're gonna add some rice and peas, right? I said rice and peas, man. So you got protein right here. Look, the rice has protein because we're adding these wonderful peas. Turmeric, you see that? That can fight cancer cells in the body. That can reduce inflammation. So we put that in the rice. So we bring the rice. All right, I'm gonna stop with the Jamaican accent because when I go to Jamaica, after like three days, my girl is like, yo, enough with the fucking Jamaican shit. That's why we're doing this YouTube channel is to educate people and let them know what the deal is. Not just diet, we're going to be talking about training, nutrition, we're going to cover PMA, meditation, a lot of stuff. But it all starts with the food. When I stop ingesting animal protein and dead animals and all this, that's when the change in my consciousness, it all stemmed out from there. So look, here's the deal. What I try to do is make people transition away from meat. And in order to do that, sometimes you want something that kind of tastes like meat, that has the texture of meat, but it's not poisoning you. This is non-GMO, okay? And uh, I like the stuff, and uh, it tastes great. You can also use, in this same recipe, beans or tempeh. And people always ask me, oh, what's up with the soy? Listen. The epicyte is, if you Google the epicyte scam and what they're doing with this stuff, it's, it's spelled E-P-I-C-Y-T-E. -E. They genetically engineer it into the food. So it increases estrogen in men and testosterone in women. So you do the research on that yourself. I'm not going to... Uh, break every single dang thing down to you, but you do the research on that. Google what the fuck that is and why they're putting it in the food. People have been eating soy for thousands and thousands of years in China. So, since they started genetically modifying the shit, that's when the problems are coming around. For the creamy almond dressing, we're gonna cut it down because we don't need all this, but what I like to do is make a whole big thing of this and leave it laying around. So you take one cup of raw almonds, one cup of nutritional yeast. You can eliminate the oil, I do. I don't put the olive oil. If you want to, you can. Two cups of spring water, a little bit of sea salt, four tablespoons of Bragg liquid aminos. Even the water I'm steaming my vegetables Filtered, filtered, we don't fuck around with chemicals. And then we're gonna add Boom. soaking it, baby. <laughs> we got a nice spread here, man. I'm gonna do a little bit of this. This has beans and all kinds of shit in it. Spread it out, right? Let's get some pineapple chunks up in there, man. Look at that, bro. Who's who, who's who's cooking shit like this, dude? Flavor, son. Damn, Sam. Look at that. So that's what I say. What are you putting in your body? What's your fuel? This is my fuel. Because this is the hard truth. What you invest in in your life, your diet, your training, your positive mental attitude, everything that you do helping others, it's all an investment. And we need to invest in ourselves first. We're going to talk about so much shit on this. It's going to get crazy. But thanks for tuning in. We made a great meal. 
I had a long ass day. I got a foster dog downstairs. I gotta go walk that sucker. You saw him before Black He's a fucking maniac. My Instagram, John Joseph Cromag, JJ Cromag on Twitter.